Hello YouTube, this is the console casual here and today we're taking a quick look at the Nell in Warframe. So the Nell is quite an interesting and unique pistol. It has only one round in its magazine, a one second reload time and only 10 rounds in total. Now the truly interesting thing about the Nell is the fact that it gains a buff on every single headshot. It will get increased critical damage and infinite ammo. Now unfortunately, because of how unique the Nell actually is, it's gotten quite a mixed response from the Warframe community. Some people love it, while a lot of people say it's an absolute gimmick and it doesn't work for anything. Now me personally, I fall into the first category. I absolutely love the Nell for its power and the playstyle it forces on you. I like the fact that this weapon is not just a point and shoot like every other weapon there is. However, I think some people really put this weapon aside after a few uses not getting to utilize its full potential. Now that's why I'm making this guide. Now please note that there is no proper way to use this pistol because it's all up to you with your playstyle but this is the way that I found the most effective. So a common complaint with the Nell is that the buff only lasts for 3 seconds and that this is not enough. Now this is true. It's true that 3 seconds is a very short amount of time but I think the real problem here is not the weapon itself but how people approach using this weapon. You see, the Nell has been classified as a sniper pistol, a statement which I really don't agree with. When I hear the term sniper pistol, I think a slow firing weapon that does a lot of damage and should be fired slowly and precisely. If you go to play with the Nell this way, if you take that 3 seconds to slowly line up your shot, make sure it's going to hit the next head and then fire your weapon, then you're definitely going to find that that 3 second buff is too small. You're going to be using it like a sniper pistol, but that's honestly not how I feel it should be used. And that my friends is where this guide comes in. Now to be perfectly honest, I only have one bit of advice when using the Nell. Don't aim too hard. There's only one single shot that you should aim for diligently and that is the first headshot. If you miss this, you're definitely screwed. But once you get this headshot and you get the infinite ammo buff, do not waste your time aiming for the next enemy's head. Instead, you should just fire your weapon off as rapidly as you can because those 3 seconds should be taken to kill everything in sight. Missing any shots is not going to cost you anything with this weapon, it's not going to give you any debuffs and infinite ammo literally means that you have nothing to lose by missing any of your shots. By doing this, you're going to clear huge groups of enemies very very quickly and also, more often than not, you're going to hit the head. After all, I'm not the best Warframe player at getting consistent headshots and yet I can maintain my nail buff for quite some time without reloading. This is because I don't aim for the head in the shots once I get the death nail buff. If I were to do this, I would immediately run out of the buff because it would take definitely more than 3 seconds. I'd also highly recommend you use the Warframe with the mobilizing power, something like maybe Nova's Molecular Primes, even Athos's Petrify. The Nell of course works extremely well with Harrow, I mean it should, it is his signature pistol after all. You can easily chain down enemies to get them stationary and you can get huge crit chance buffs with Harrow's 4th ability. So as you've probably guessed, the Nell is one of my favourite pistols. I absolutely love the trade-off it has between its usability and its sheer power. If you've never used the Nell before or if you've used it once or twice and then given it up, I highly recommend you give it another chance. It has a steep learning curve but once you do get used to it, you're going to be clearing the maps and topping the damage charts in no time. That wraps it up for this review guys. Please subscribe if you enjoyed the content, leave me a thumbs up down below. Any comments are highly appreciated as always and if it helped you in any way then please consider sharing it with your friends. I'm a very very new YouTuber and I'm going to need all the help I can get which is why I'm going to use this cute cat face. As always, thanks for watching and stay casual.